and I are going back to the river where the two rivers meet. We're going to go and do some stone throwing today. Travis? We're just working our way there. You've got to go through this field. Come on then. Show everybody where to go. You can see he's absolutely full of energy. 24-7. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no, you okay? It's okay, it's just dark. Come on then, this way. He had a developmental meeting today where he played a lot of games and they told us that he'd be really tired today because of it. Well, no. Travis, Travis, listen. We go this way. This way. Good boy. There's some poor ducks stuck out in the water over there. They've just got pulled in by these rapids. I'm glad their heads finally came back up. Travis and I are on an island. Look. It's really cool. The river's really fast over here. It's quite nice being on here though. It's very, like you wouldn't want to go over in that bit. It's pretty, I mean, it's not like some crazy river abroad, but... Travis, show them, we're on the island! We're on the island! Wow! Somebody's built a mini dam across here, so you can get across to the island now. That wasn't here last time we were here. If you're a bit more stable than I am, that is. This is quite shallow here. You know? Just goes out a little bit, bit deeper every, I don't know, once you get to about a metre out, it starts to drop. So it's actually kind of cool place to come and like you can dip your feet and stuff when it's really warm. It's quite warm today, I might let Travis do it, but last time we came here, he threw his shoes in the river, so I'm not too sure how I feel about that right now. They call it the beach because over there, the part where there's the green and the brown, there's actually sand. So here, that part's actually sand. So it's kind of why it gets called the beach, but I think it's a whole sort of general area where it's like sort of pebbly and there's water and, you know, we're not anywhere near a beach. So, of course, we're going to try and make it feel like we are. Wow. Oh! Just about knocked himself out with that one. Careful, please. Yeah. Is it nice and cold? What about your toes? Nice, isn't it? Oh, cold.
like you were nice and careful. I'm not sure what this is. It seems like a piece of pottery or something. It feels perfectly smooth and it's kind of got this red colour about it. There's Travis and I hiding home from the river now. He just said tata because he's very polite. His, I don't know if you can see them. His legs are soaking around me. We're just walking through this sort of... This little... I don't even know what you would call this. Little green bits coming out of all the rocks. But we're so excited to have been here today. It's fun, it's so cozy. Travis got to throw lots of rocks and they got to go in the river for a minute, so can't complain at that. So, hi! Wild raspberries are growing here. How cool is that? Now we're on the old railway line behind our, my mum's house, Travis's grand Angie. We call her Grangie. So we're just going to walk along here. We'd like to see our cat who's fostered into my mum's house. It's really, really pretty. Travis, it's all been repaved so you can walk it. Do you want to go? Oh, you're going to run it, aren't you? It's actually really cool because you can follow it right along and there's a, a railway bridge that you can walk across now. And this path kind of, well, you can follow this path or another all the way down to Walkerburn and the railway used to go all the way down to Gala Shields. You can see my mum's house from here. I um, don't know if you can see on the camera but she lives in there. It's a kind of really cool place to live because over there is the river and that down over there is the beachy area where we've been. And our house is kind of in this direction. He's all ways. <laughs> Are you okay? Did you get stung by a jaggy nettle? I think you did. There they are. Okay, come back. <laughs> Hi, woof woof. He's been stung by the stingy nettles. You can see it's all raised in red. He's really brave. He just says, ow, ow. So we're going to put this on. This is what you need if you've got a kid. Aloe vera jelly. It soothes, it soothes burns. Bites, cuts, it's. I can't remember the words, it's kind of like an antiseptic. Well, maybe not antiseptic. But, anyway, it's perfect. It's brand new, we bought it for going on the travels. And David's going to put it on Travis's ouch. Maybe. Ooh, that gold? You can see it's clear, it's pure aloe. It's basically just aloe leaf, but it, they've stabilised it, so it's just in a bottle form. Is that better? Much better? Tata! 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 